happens on Mark Goddard. Mark spent much of his acting career fighting intelligent life forms and trying to get back to Earth on the fantasy adventure show Lost in Space. But in real life, he's now firmly back on Earth and trying to create intelligent life forms. He was the pilot of the ill-fated flying saucer that spent three seasons in the 60s lost in space. Fire carriages! Fire them now! His rugged good looks made Mark Goddard the show's resident heartthrob, a role he relishes to this day. My favorite is when uh, these uh, young women in their 30s come up to me and say, I used to be in love with you when I was little, you know? And I said, what happened, you know? <laughs> you can't be in love with me today. When the spaceship made its final landing in 1968, Mark continued a successful acting career, but left Hollywood behind in 1988 for a much smaller stage. Okay, we have an idea. How do we develop the idea? Through a what? A thing. He now works as a substitute teacher in his hometown of Situate, Massachusetts. Mark says it's his love of kids that prompted the career change, but admits it's a move even his students don't understand. When I teach, and I talk to the young people, they can't understand why I would leave money and a home and celebrity to become a teacher. They can't understand. They think that money is more important than what you get in here. And I get it in here. I'm very gratified. I'm researching uh, the student athlete. Mark the teacher is also Mark the student, taking classes at night to earn his master's degree in education. And though teaching is now his life, he admits his celebrity status has followed him into the schoolroom. All of a sudden, kids were getting slips to go to the, and brought them to go to here, to go to the nurse, to go to the back. I said, what's going on? And they were keeping them because they had my autograph. <laughs> the divorced father of four children, uh, he's planning on getting married again next July. And that's an update from...